big clusteroid in big data analytics. What is a clusteroid? Representing a cluster in any non-Euclidean space is always an issue because we cannot replace a collection of points by their centroid. When the space is non-Euclidean, choice is to pick one of the points of the cluster itself to represent the cluster. Now, what do we mean by a non-Euclidean spaces where I do not have numbers to calculate my center? I have a document or a text or a word. So, I have to find the center in the non-Euclidean space. This point is close to all the points of the cluster, so it lies in the center. This representative point is called the clustroid. Now, we will study how we find the clustroid for a string where we have a cluster of strings and we need to find the clustroid between those strings. So, this is done. To find the clustroid, we use the edit distance formula. And there are following steps we need to follow. The first step, when we need to convert or when we need to find the clustroid between the strings A, B, C, D, A, E, C, D, B, A, B, E, C, B, and E, C, D, A, B. The steps are find the edit distance, find the sum square, find the maximum distance of the cluster and find the sum in the cluster. Now, how do we find the edit distance? To find the edit distance, we have three basic ways. The first way I have explained in my video how to find the edit distance using the matrix method. So you can refer to the video of edit distance on my channel. Now here we'll be representing or we'll be discussing two ways to find the edit distance. Now the first way let us see is if I need to convert the string A, B, C, D to A, E, C, D, B. How are we going to do in the first method? The first method is addition plus deletion. Now, what do I mean by addition plus deletion is how many additions I need or how many deletions I need to convert my string A, B, C, D to A, E, C, D, B. Let's see how we do it. We start matching A with A. There's neither addition nor deletion that is required. When I come to the next step, B can be deleted here. In red color, it is represented as deletion. The next comes the string E, which can be added. So I have had two steps over here. B is deleted and E is added. As I compare C with C, there is neither addition or deletion because it is mapping. Next is D with D. So it is neither addition nor deletion. And next come B, which is added. So if we see the color combination, we say that B is deleted, E is addition and B is addition. So how do we calculate? So to convert my string A, B, C, D to A, E, C, D, B, by using the addition plus deletion method, B is deleted, E is addition, B is addition. Therefore, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. I need three steps to convert my string A, B, C, D to A, E, C, D, B. So we can clearly see here graphically that I need three conversions to convert my first string to another string. This was one method. Now, the second method to calculate is x mod x plus mod y minus 2 times LCS. Now, x, if we say x is equal to string ABCD, which is mod x means the length of the string x. So, the length of the string x is 4. Let's say y is equal to AECDB. And mod of y and the length of y is 5. Now, LCS is 3. How? 
A B C D and A E C D B. The common significance that we get is A, C and D. So it is the count is three. Therefore, four plus five minus two into three. So it is nine minus six. The answer is three. If you can see graphically again, we get the distance as three. This is converting A B C D to A E C D B. Now, if I need to convert A B C D to A B E C B, first we'll take the LCS method. So it is mod x plus mod y minus two LCS. So A B C D is four. A B E C B is five. So LCS is four plus five minus two into three is equal to three. Now let's take a string A B C D. And A B E C B using addition plus deletion. So my string is this. Let's say A B C D to A B E C B. So A to A there is no change. B to B there is no change. E is addition. C to C there is no change. D is deleted. And B is added. So E is addition, D is deletion, and B is addition. So added distance for this string is three. Similarly, we calculate the added distance between all our strings. So we found a formed a matrix over here, and we written four strings in the row, and four strings, four strings here, and four strings on this side. And to convert one string to another string, the diagonal is zero. So as we have calculated the added distance with those two formulas, I have shown as an example. Here we'll fill up this matrix, and this is the matrix that we get. The same color shows that the added distance is same. So A B C D, when it is converted to A E C D B, the added distance is three. A B C D to A B E C B, the added distance is three, and A B C D to E C D A B, the added distance is five. So this is how we form this matrix, and it is filled. Now let's find out the maximum. The first step is to find the maximum in this particular table. Now when I need to convert A B C D to These strings, we need to find the maximum for this particular row. So, maximum number for or the maximum conversions that I need, the maximum added distance that I need is five. So, max is written as five. The maximum added distance to convert A E C D B to any of these strings is three. So, three comes over here. A B E C B, the maximum is four. So I get four over here, and E C D A B to getting converted into any of these. The maximum distance is five, so the five comes over here. So the first step was to find the added distance. The second step was to find the maximum we've done. Now the next step that we do is to find the sum. Now from the same table, we say three plus three is six plus five is 11. So this added distance is basically 11, and the next added distance that we find out is 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 7, which is over here. So the next added distance is 3 plus 2 plus 4. 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 2 9. So the added distance is 9, and the next is 5 plus 2 plus 4. Which is eleven. So now we've got the sum of the added distances. Also, the next step is to find the sum square. I formulated a table over here for the sum square. The square of three is nine. The square of three is nine, and the square of five is twenty-five. So twenty-five plus nine plus nine is forty-three. Similarly, we calculate the sum square for each string. So this is nine plus four plus four, which is seventeen. Nine plus four 
plus 16 is 29 and 25 plus 4 plus 16 is 45. So now we've calculated the edit distance. We found the maximum for each string that is the maximum edit distance to convert one string to another. We found their sum and we found their sum square. Now next step is how to find the clustroid. You will see this table which I have formulated by all the results that we did in the previous presentations. So here we have tabulated maximum, sum and sum square. Now the clustroid is formed wherever the value is the minimum. So we will see where is the minimum. If we analyze A, E, C, D, B has the minimum value that is even the max value is 3. The sum value is 7 and the sum square value is 17. So A, E, C, D, B is the clustroid for the strings A, B, C, D, A, E, C, D, B, A, B, E, C, B and E, C, D, A, B. So this is using the edit distance max sum and sum square. We can find the clustroid in the strings. Thank you.